the conclusion of our nine week container. I really just want to take this moment to honor your commitment to yourself and your presence in this journey. And uh, I invite you to light a candle if you have one around and really just just bring your energy in. Really just start to bring your energy in. And as you do that, just become reflective of what brought you to make the decision to be involved in this growthful experience. Who are you now? How are you different than the person that decided to take this journey? What have you learned about yourself? What have you been able to reclaim about yourself and your energy? Taking a deep breath and just allowing yourself to really be fully here Really be fully here. As we close this container, I would like to talk about something that I feel is really important, and that is de armoring. And so, oftentimes, when we can be in these spaces with ourselves and we open these new realms, these new dimensions of curiosity and understanding of who we are and why we're here. There can be sort of like a response from our nervous system or for, from our programming or from our beliefs that are unresolved that can make our energy shut, clam shut, instead of this sort of like systematic unfolding and integration process. And so I want to bring this up because we're going for the integration process and that's going to look different for each person. But in the meantime, anytime you notice yourself sort of going back into spaces of looping or doubt or self-abandonment or negative self-talk, really just bringing, bringing it back to yourself, recognizing that these protection mechanisms are here to show us ways that we're not yet integrated into our bodies. And so as they arise, they're sort of still highlighting these little pieces that are like, oh, well, can you take a look at this? <laughs> what about this? What about this? You know, and so it's just a deeper dive into a really allowing this integration process to fulfill itself by way of everything we've spoken to, you know, as we understand these processes that we go through and we hold curiosity and radical self-acceptance for ourselves and we develop and harness the tools required to do this deeper shadow alchemy work there's still going to be things that can knock us out of our center. And so it's not that we're looking for a cure-all, but really that we're just regulating and coming back into a space of centeredness and observation, non-judgmental awareness and witnessing of our own process. That we get to sort of shorten the time that maybe it used to take us to get back into that grounded, centered place. Maybe it used to take hours or days or weeks or sometimes even months for some of us. I've definitely been in a situation where it's taken me months to realize that I had gone unconscious. And we're just shortening that time. Like, wow, okay, I got pulled out. What is it that pulled me out? And then we can really develop this relationship with self and hold ourselves deeper than we've ever been able to and create a capacity that we've never experienced 
just by being curious, just by remaining in that place of reflective prioritization of our sovereignty and our purpose and our potency and our power. It's an exciting time. It's a beautiful journey. So as we wrap up this time together, I would like you to say a prayer for yourself. And you can do that by writing it down. You can do that by saying it out loud. Whatever works for you. But I want you to say a prayer for yourself and for what you really and truly desire, who you are and what you intend to do with that power. Pulling your visions and your dreams from the ethers and bringing them here, allowing them to wash over you as you embody your creative potential and your essence. And so take the time to be with this prayer. You can do whatever you want with it. You can put it on your altar. You can speak it to a place, into a space. You could write it down and burn it. You can be with the water elements and have a ritual whatever feels most true for you. Recognizing that our potency and capacity for transformation is equal to the energy we're willing to invest into ourselves. And as we invest more deeply and uncover that authentic, raw, real expression that naturally things start to unfold and untangle and unravel and new energy gets to be birthed within our bodies and within our life experiences and our awareness. So we're just giving more space for that to be a reality. Really allowing the prayers that we hold for ourselves to be genuine and thorough as we remember that self-resourcing is always the first step before we move into the world into the external expressions of our existence allowing the sacredness of the pause letting ourselves take up more space and even more space, and even more space than that, because we're so worthy. Our visions, and our dreams, and our deepest desires will naturally unfold when we allow ourselves the nourishment and the resource that we need to feel alive, to feel safe, to feel nourished, whatever it is that validates your true, authentic sovereignty. We get to feed that. We get to be in that space as much as we can handle it because it's vast and it's big, it's expansive. It's important. It's available, it's here, it's in you, it's in each of us. We are here to embody this fully. I encourage you to continue to use the visual meditations and the tools given to you during our time together 
as well as the practice of reflective writing. This is a very powerful thing. You can create whatever reality you wish. And really utilizing the environment around us, recognizing that we're never alone and our guardians and our allies, whether they be embodied or disembodied, whether they be human or animal or plant, that everything around us is holding us, encouraging us, celebrating us to take up that space that we are and to express and live to our full potential and to have the courage to recalibrate and remember whenever we're not doing that and to be super gentle on ourselves no matter what to allow all parts of ourselves to be here no matter what learning who we are learning how we can hold ourselves rising into self-mastery within the body timelessly effortlessly really just that radical self-acceptance even when it's not effortless <laughs> letting it be messy letting it be raw letting it be primal the balance of the darkness and the light simultaneously existing in this beautiful union dance find little anchors whether in your body or in your reality or in nature find little anchors that can bring you back into yourself so that you can really be here all the way and you no longer need coping mechanisms or disassociation or numbing in order to exist we can initiate ourselves into the full potential that we are because we deserve it because our communities and our countries and the world deserves it we can remember we are remembering we are the remembrance <laughs> So I thank you, sister, and I honor you for the courage, for the growth, for the capacity. May this just be a taste of the beginning of the rest of your life. Mahalo. Thank you.